What's going on guys, Blender Bench here. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to go about rigging your character in Blender using Rigify. So let's get into it. First things first, you have your character here. You want to first enable Rigify. So if it's not enabled, go up to Edit, Preferences. Go over to the Add-ons tab. And this is search and make sure you have Rigify. It comes in Blender, so here it is. You wanna check that on. If it's not checked, and then hit Save Preferences. And now we can start, uh, yeah, bringing it in. So let's go to the front view first. And we're gonna press Shift A, go down to Armature. And then um, depending on the complexity of your model, um, you might want to use a different base to start off with. I'm gonna use the um, Human Meta Rig. So here it is. And you're gonna notice the scale is a little bit off compared to your actual character. So just scale it up. You can just press S and just get it to where it's, you know, relative. It's not going to be an exact because it's not scaled to your character. So we're going to make that fit as best as we can. And now that we have that, there's a couple of features we can do to ensure that this is, um, you know, we can see this better once we go into edit mode and start adjusting the bones. So let's um, have our armature selected. And we can go to the right and we can go to the object data properties here and then we can go over to the viewport display and we can check on in front so that way we'll always see the bones in front of um, the mesh no matter how you look at this and this is really useful at some points it, it may not be so useful so we can just toggle it off as need be so once we have that set up now i want to press one to go back into the front view and we have the armature selected, so I'm gonna hit tab to go to edit mode. Or if you don't wanna hit tab, you can always just go up to the top left and select object, then select edit. Now edit mode here, we're gonna line up our bones to where they would be in real life. So I'm going to just first uh, select this knee. And if you move it, notice we have to, um, this is moving asymmetrically by itself. And we want to cut the workload in half and make this easier for ourselves. So we're going to hit Control Z to go back. And I want to go to the top right and next to this little butterfly icon, we're going to hit X so we can turn on mirror. So whatever you do to one side now happens on the other half. So let's line this knee up with where the knee would be. I'm just going to drag select over this area. And also, I'm gonna change my um, my tool to lasso, just so it's easier for me to just to drag and select. Use the move tool. We can just move it on the axis with the hot keys, but I think this is fine for what I need it for. Get that here. Wanna drag this area here and line up the groin area. So where it's right here. You don't want it sticking out of the body. That should be fine. The pelvic area, that looks good as well. I'm gonna leave everything else where, they, where it is. And let's go to the arm and elbow, line those up. to be in here try to select over the wrist and all the bone underneath line this up and we're just going to upscale this as well so let's press s upscale and if you guys want you can just fast forward this because i'm just really just going through matching this up with my actual character and depending on your model it may be a little bit different as um, far as the positions. All right, guys, I'm doing a quick time lapse on this part because it's kind of mundane and you don't really need to see me do this. Uh, but I am pressing number three on the keyboard to go to the side view and I'm making the uh, changes to the spinal and uh, facial area to make it fit a little bit better. It's always good and important to watch from all point of views, not just the front view. And uh, the most important part is getting these fingers lined up and making sure you're switching between the top view, which is number seven on the keyboard on the number pad, and number three, the side view. 
as well as um, you know rotating around each bone and you can press period on the number pad to zoom in if you're using a Windows keyboard and uh, yeah so I'm just making changes your character may vary drastically but this is the basics of it and I just decided to do a time lapse just so it's not so mundane watching me do this one by one and yeah I'll uh, let you guys finish watching this and very soon I'll jump back into the audio Alright guys, so after we save our file and our scene, we can go from edit mode back to optic mode. And now you want to apply scale. Without applying the scale, um, because you know we scaled this up in optic mode, and after you do that, you usually need to set a scale so you don't get a random size for the rig. So if I went over to the right, back to the object data properties, and I went to generate rig, you give it about five to seven seconds to uh, generate, you're gonna notice that the rig is gonna be really small. And you don't want that. So let's hit Control Z. And with our rig selected, we're gonna press Control A to uh, apply scale. Now, if we go to generate rig here at the right, we're gonna have something a lot closer to what we want and what we're looking for. See, and this looks great. You can see that. And one thing I do want to do is toggle off this, um, I want to select this bone here and then toggle off in front so we don't see that passing through. Now, once we're done with that, we can move forward. Now, if you take a look at the right top section, you're going to see that we have two rigs now. We have this rig here, which is the new generator rig, and then we have the metal rig. What we want to do is now hide this metal rig. So with this selected, we're going to press M to uh, create a new collection. And we can just name this um, rig. And just hit OK. And then you see we have this new collection here underneath here. And you might need to maybe, depending on who you are, change your naming convention so you don't get confused between this rig, which we generated, and then the old rig, which we created um, when we went to edit mode. So just note that these two are separate. And after we create a new collection, we want to toggle off this rig. So just hit the little eyeball icon here to toggle that off so you don't get confused. And what we're going to now do is just um, select this rig here with all the splines once we have this selected, we're going to go from object mode to pose mode, press A to select all, and I'm going to hit H to hide. And with that done, I'm going to hold shift and select this um, selection right here. And now we're going to get this rig here. And this is essentially the same rig we hid, but this is the weighted bones. And this is going to be really important here in a second. So just try to stay with me. Now what we can do is go up to the top left, go from pose mode back to object mode. Select the mesh and shift select the bones. And then we're going to press control P to parent. And we're going to parent with automatic weights. Now we can just deselect by clicking off of the model in the mesh uh, the bones in the mesh and then we can select the bones by themselves go from object mode to pose mode and we're going to press a to select all bones and we're going to hold down shift and select what we select originally and it's going to hide those now we can press alt h to unhide all so now if we select any of these bones, we can start to actually move this character around. He's rigged. So let's select this red icon here around the hand. And if you press G, you can start to move it. And you see we have the inverse kinematics character here, which is the IK. 
So I can just right click to cancel that movement. And since we made it this far, let's go back to object mode and let's just file save. Now we saved it, everything's fine. Uh, we don't have to worry about losing any progress because Blender can randomly crash. Um, yeah, so let's talk more about the rig. We have the rig set up. We rigged our uh, Rigify character. So um, yeah, let's start showing you guys what some of these things do. So select the rig or the armature, go to pose mode, and everything's kind of color coordinated here. And if you press N, you can bring up the menu of Rigify, go to item, and you see we have a couple of different options. Everything is here, uh, this lower section, which is rig main properties, and below, this is everything that makes up this rig. And if you toggle off the tweak sections, the tweak sections are these dark blue areas, so they will be the anchor points where we set the bones originally. So left leg, you see that these disappear if you toggle off the tweaks right leg let's toggle off the tweaks for now um, let's do the same for the arms so we'll go to arm left tweak arm right tweak um, you see we have the finger details here so you can rotate those those anchor points we have our global control here so whenever you move this the entire model and rig goes with it here we can move the body up and down and naturally blender uh, primary is in ik and i'll show you what ik and fk are here in a second you'll see when i select this the character goes up and down this is the main um, primary bone in the body to get the character to lift and stretch you can also rotate this as well. So you will just go into moving those hips. You can also go back and forth. Notice the hands aren't moving with the body as if they're handcuffed. That's because of the IK uh, handle and switches here. And these are the IK handles. They're in red, the hand. So if you press G, the character moves from the hand versus moving from the hierarchy, which is the elbow and above the hierarchy, above that is the shoulder and then clavicle, so forth and so on. And to switch this off, we can rotate this arm as well. You can see how this can be pretty uh, powerful. To switch between IK and FK, you want to go to the right side here and you see how I have the hand selected we have this slider that says IKFK hand left and then you want to just select and drag up. And once that's at one, we no longer have the functionality of the IK handle anymore. Moving this does nothing. We have to go back into the FK, which we can select these uh, green bones here and rotate them separately. So you see how now we have to, in order to get certain positions and poses, we have to move by increments. Versus if we turn back on the IK, we can move from the hand and then get the majority of the position set. And also we have this neat thing here. So say if I move the hand handle here and it's in a weird position, I don't have access to moving the elbow. So that's what these arrows are for. So this red arrow, if I hit R, I can rotate to move this how I need to, to get better positions. So let's move this over here and say I grab the arrow and I want to move that, I can do this. But for the old school people that are used to um, having targets, you can select the arrow here and then you can go over here where it says toggle pole and you're gonna see something pop up. And now we no longer have that functionality 
with the arrows, now we have this pole to do the positioning. So just knowing those and what their uh, uses are will help you in creating um, some cool animations and poses for your rig. So let's check out the foot IKFK handle. So if you pull the foot up, we can now create a nice walk cycle if need be. Looks cool. We got some stretching if need be as well. You know, the ball roll here. So if you select this arrow behind the ankle, and then you use the rotate tool, you can get some nice uh, foot rolls there. And just like the IKFK switch above for the hands, you can also do the same with the foot. So you can go over here to the menu, slide it from IK to FK. And now if you want to move everything incrementally, you can now do that. Roll leg. There you go. So just play around with these guys so you guys can get used to these. And here we have the mouth rig, which we set up earlier. And I said that I could always um, redefine it and you know work on it to make it look a little bit better. You can see the power of Rigify. And you can definitely manipulate this to get some interesting uh, shapes and expressions. Same for the eyes. Close those up. And if you want to go back to your original form, you can pull this, move the head around. I just want to show you guys the rest of these before I end this tutorial. So if you guys want to reset back to your default position, you can just press A to select all the bones and armature, and then you can press Alt um, R, Alt G, and Alt S. So that resets everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was kind of long, but I think it was a lot of information to help you guys on uh, your own personal projects. And if you guys found this useful, give the video a thumbs up, uh, comment, and share. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.